What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another Team of the Year video. The Team of the Year midfielders should be in packs right about now. And so with that guys, I'm hoping we get some lightning rounds and we're going to do basically what we did yesterday. So there are some rare players packs there. Uh, the three Team of the Year midfielders, of course, Modric, De Bruyne and Kante. 99 Modric, what a card! What a card! 99 Modric, guys. What a card. 90 pace, 99 dribbling, 99 passing, 94 shooting, 94 defending, and 90 physical. Oh my god. That card is actually going to be extremely expensive. You've then got N'Golo Kante, 96 rated, 90 pace, 94 dribbling, 89 shooting, 94 for passing and physical, and 96 for defending. Sensational for him. And then last but not least, 97 team of the year, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, with 96 dribbling and shooting, uh, 99 passing, 92 physical, 87 pace. Come on, can we get a walk out here? And 78 defending. I am very, very surprised at how good Modric's stats are. They are not just any old 99 rated card stats. They are exemplary. They are sensational. And we're going to, of course, after we go through these lightning rounds, we're going to go and have a look at all of these cards. We'll take a look at their in-game stats and their initial prices and price ranges. And we'll go from there. Now, of course, if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel and you wouldn't mind dropping a thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. I will be back a little bit later on today, this evening, maybe in, in about... Probably about 10 hours or so. Yes, first walkout. Come on, be blue, EA. Give me a team of the year. No, it's not. Uh, it could now be, though, Ronaldo or Messi. It's Kaylor Navas. Um, yeah, if you guys want to be uh, tuning in for a draft, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to turn the notifications on. So we do get ourselves a Kaylor Navas and a Jonas in there. I'm going to have to discard the Jonases. I'm really, really impressed with the team of the year card so far. Uh, we've obviously got the defenders coming, I think, tomorrow. I think they're there for 24 hours. Uh, which is great. I'm 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 delighted. I'm I'm very happy with what EA have done here with Team D. I do feel like it, it would be good if EA could still give us just a little bit more by way of an SBC, like the twelfth man, uh, which is obviously going to be coming as well. It's likely to be Neymar by you know by initial early votings. Come on, blue, give me blue, EA, give me blue. No, it's not blue again. It's going to be German. Cam, it's going to be Messi Ozil. Um, <clears throat> so, the the midfielders are only in packs for 24 hours, which means I would expect as well the defenders to be in packs for only 24 hours. And then that could possibly mean that we get all of the team of the year in packs at the same time on Thursday evening. That's very interesting. That would be way earlier than normal. I wonder if they run it a little bit uh, shorter this year and only do it till Sunday at 6 p.m. I don't know. We get a full uh, a full set of items. There. I've got no trade pile space left, so if I get something big, I'm gonna have to uh, swap out the um, I'm gonna have to swap out the 83s for the 84s, 85s, or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very impressed so far. But the 12th man, I think EA would have done amazing if they had set the 12th man to be a uh, SBC and I'm not saying it should be cheap or anything like that but make it like an icon SBC you know like eight nine segments maybe ten segments make it like 1.5 two mil coins and go from there it'd be an untradeable card it'll be a lot of fun for a lot of people it would be a lot of people's only opportunity to ever pick up a team of the year card because especially with how boosted these stats are like Ronaldo right now is like nine million coins Lionel Messi's over five million and Mbappe's over four million very, very few people in this game are going to, A, have a chance to pack a card like that. And even less are going to have a chance to play. Well, probably not less. But, let, like, people just aren't going to have the opportunity to play with these kind of cards unless they do it via draft. And I don't know if it's, uh, you know, I don't know if people are actually putting their time and energy into draft just to play with it. Now, we started with, what I start with, 48,000 FIFA points. We've got a couple of walkouts so far, Navas and Ozil. We got two or one potentially low rate informs. These packs aren't actually going down as quick as I thought, which is quite sad actually. Uh, the reason why it's sad is because if people aren't opening packs, that means they're not packing the blues. And if they're not packing the blues, that means their prices are going to be super expensive. 
and uh, I don't want their prices to be super expensive. So um, let's hope that I can just pack one. It, it would be great. I've never packed a Team of the Year attacker for what it's worth. I've packed 99 Ronaldo's before. I've packed 98 Team of the Season Messi. In fact, last year, uh, when Team of the Season Messi came out as a 98 rated, I packed him at like at five seconds past six like literally as soon as he came into packs uh i packed him immediately which was really really cool uh and i've packed 99 team of the season ronaldo before as well a couple of times i think on 99 ronaldo but i have never ever packed a team of your attacker and so far that's gonna remain the same sadly once again we are in a state here where i'm just not getting great luck i know yesterday we did get an icon we packed Taliso about seven times. Uh, last, um, yeah, last last week we did get not last week. Yesterday we did get an icon. We got Patrick Cliver, which is very nice indeed. He he'll go towards purchasing a couple of these players. I, I do want to. Um, I did want to save some of these. I didn't think I'd be able to open all of these FIFA points in one lightning round. I thought I'd be able to open some of them 100k, some of them 125s. But um, I might just stop at one stage or another because. Right now, these packs just aren't really going down. They've been out for six minutes already, and there's still loads left. We've got a walkout. Come on. If I get a blue, I'll stop. It's not a blue. Is that an inform? It is an inform. Good start. English. Who's that? Striker. Marcus Rashford. Very nice indeed. He was selling for about 200,000 coins. I don't know if he's still selling for that. I'd be happy if he's still selling for about 100,000 coins. We get Pjanic in there as well. So he is down to about 100,000 coins. That's not bad. We'll send him into the club. Rashford and Pjanic in there. Very nice indeed. But that's not the blue that I want. I would like... Which one would I most like to pack? I would most like to pack probably Modric. I, I really, really like Modric in FIFA over the years. And, and now that the look of that card, the fact that he's got four-star, four-star, he's got high, high work rates... He is going to be probably the best box-to-box -box midfielder in the game ever. Um, literally, like potentially ever anyway. Uh, we are again, like we, we start with 65,000 packs. So these packs are going to last like another 10 minutes. I've only got a handful of walkouts. If that, what have I got? Three walkouts. Ozil, Pjanic and Rashford. So two in the same pack there. And then one more. I can't even, uh, Navas. So we have so far got four walkouts only from all of these packs. I'll probably stop at 20,000 FIFA points and I'll save for 10 100k packs a little bit later in those lightning rounds. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the players, the in-games and the current prices. I was hoping and expecting to be able to pick up Modric. Bad, bad worst case scenario for about 1.8 to 2 million. Best case scenario for about 1, point, well, 1 million to 1.5 million. I didn't expect him to be 99 but I did consider that if he was 99 he'd still be quite cheap not super cheap but still quite cheap the fact that he is 99 rated and so goddamn good the fact that he will hard link to Varane and Marcelo um he, he might he might well become he, he might be like five or six million I, I'm I'm quite interested quite intrigued uh to see what price he settles at for Kante with how good that card is as well, we might be looking at three to four million for him. And then De Bruyne, I, I just, I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. I'm, I'm at a loss for words because the stats are so heavily boosted. Right, I'm going to open six more packs, guys, I think. And the, these, these packs just aren't really dropping down very much at all. So, yeah, we'll, we'll open six more. Hopefully, we can get a walkout. I mean, I don't expect to pack a team of the year. But at the same time, from 48,000 FIFA points, I kind of do. Um, I kind of do. I kind of, ex I, I kind of thought. Well, we spent. What did we spend yesterday? I spent about seventy to eighty thousand FIFA points yesterday for the attackers. We didn't get much at all. Um, we packed an icon. Other than that, I didn't get anything. And, and I know you're probably thinking, "Hey, an icon's not bad." And yeah, that, that's right. That's not bad. Um, but we've already spent today almost thirty thousand FIFA points, and we have got three walkout packs and four walkouts in total. Not ideal. Here's another walkout. Come on, EA. Be blue. Be blue. It's not blue again. I'm, I'm getting ready and excited for it to be blue, and it's just not. Spanish is always a bad start. Centimid is even worse um, because it's either going to be Thiago or Parejo, and they're both just... Or, or Iniesta, of course. And they're, they're, they're all just... There you go. It's Iniesta. They're all a bit tragic. So uh, that's an 87 rated into the club that I'll use for an SBC. 
somewhere down the line. Um, 27,000 of these to go. I'm going to open three more. Let's see if we can get a walkout out of this one, though. So we've got four walkout packs so far from what is going to end up being 28 50k packs. Um, five walkout players in total, unless we get a walkout or a blue or something big from these last two packs before we go and take a look at these players, their prices. Oh, here's a walkout. Come on, EA. Blue, please. It's not blue again, man. Be a good card at least. Brazil, good start. CDM is going to be uh, either, either Casemiro, which would be the wrong Real Madrid midfield walkout that I wanted, or Fernandinho. And it is going to be... Ooh, Otamendi in there as well. It's going to be Casemiro. So we'll take... Uh, let's take Felipe down. Uh, let's put... Uh, oh, no, didn't want to do that. Let's take Felipe down. And let's put Casemiro up. And we'll send him to the trade pile. And discard those remaining items. And so this will be the last pack, guys, as I say. Uh, we'll go and have a look at what SBCs are available. I, I doubt there's uh, anything too, uh, too amazing there. We get no walkout here. So a really bad start for our first packs. I'm genuinely shocked at how long these 50Ks are lasting. Maybe it means that people just aren't even interested in picking up the team of the year midfielders in packs. Maybe people are just waiting. Maybe people have spanked all their coins already. I don't know. But that's me done with the packs for the time being. Let us go and have a look at the uh, SBCs and see what we've got there. Another team of the year challenge. Um, so another, uh, what is that? Another, what is that premium players pack? I didn't even see what that was. What are we looking at? A prime Electrum players pack. Three leagues, 79 rated, one La Liga player. Uh, and then Team of the Year Challenge uh, for a premium gold players pack. And I think this is the same one as yesterday. Just uh, So Team Chemistry 70. Exactly gold. So yeah, just a gold squad for a premium gold players pack. So there's a couple of decent packs there uh, for you to get for, for relatively cheap, which is quite nice. But dudes, let's go and have a look at these Team of the Year cards. So we will start with Kante as he is the lowest rated of the three. Um, CDM, 96 rated. Do we have any on the market already? Yes, we do. Oh, he's he's coming in at 4 million. Does that mean that's his max, uh, max bin? Wow. I, do you know what? I am shocked that he is only 3.7 million. Well, that he's coming in that cheap. Let's have a look at his in-game. So obviously, 5-6, medium high. Three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. Look at that card. That is honestly sensational. I mean, his vision and his passing doesn't need to be touched. Curve, free kick accuracy and crossing are irrelevant for him. His agility, balance, reactions and composure are spectacular. His ball control and dribbling you can upgrade via chem style. Uh, his interceptions, marking and tackling is great. His heading is a little low, but he's got very good jumping. 99 stamina and aggression and 85 strength. Um, his finishing, shot power, long shots and positioning are great. His pace is great. Me personally, I would probably give... I would probably give... Something to boost his physical. Get that strength and jumping up. And possibly his dribbling. Um, so I don't know if there is actually a chem style that boosts physical and dribbling. Maybe I'll go backbone then and boost physical defending and passing. Or maybe I'll go engine. Give him the plus five in pace. The little boost in agility, ball control and dribbling. And uh, a little boost in passing that he won't necessarily need. But that is a phenomenal card. And I tell you, dudes, I am surprised that he's coming in at 3.7 million straight off the bat. That is a lot cheaper than... Well, not cheaper than I thought. But for the first initial first cards, that's definitely nowhere near as low as I thought it might be. Kevin De Bruyne, guys, is coming in at... Wow. Wow. 5.5... 5 there's already a fair few of him on the market. So he's coming at 5... There's one there at 4.8. So not, not cheap, obviously. Let's have a look at his in-games. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, like, that is a great card. His dribbling is, is, is amazing. Uh, his defensive stats are quite good as well. He would actually make a good, like, secondary CDM alongside a top, top uh, CDM. Like, if you literally play Kante and De Bruyne next to each other at 4-2-3-1... He would do well. Like, you could put a shadow on him, get his tackling up, get his heading and interceptions up. But his strength and aggression are good. His stamina is brilliant. Reactions, ball control, composure, phenomenal. Once again here, I mean, what would I apply? I would probably apply an engine again. I'd probably get that pace up by five, get that dribbling up by the little bits that it needs. And, and the passing is already so good. Maybe a basic chem style for him would actually be the best thing. So De Bruyne coming in, guys, there, under 5 million straight off the bat. And then last but not least is Luka Modric. 
I am very interested to see what he's coming in at. There he is, 99 Modric. 7 million coins. Well, there goes any idea I had of thinking I was going to be able to get him. I really thought I'd be able to get him on my road to glory for about 1.5 to 2 million. No chance. It, it, like, even when he drops, he's going to drop to maybe 5 million, you know? Th th this, this card is ridiculous. And those stats are ridiculous. This might be one of the greatest cards we've ever seen. You, you, I don't even know if a shadow is the right thing to do because his interceptions and tackling is great. His stamina and jumping are great. His dribbling is, is brilliant. His shoot, I mean, everything about this card is just perfect. A basic chem style might be the one right here as well. I am blown away that he is so goddamn expensive. 7 million coins. He's more expensive than Mbappe and Messi. And, oh, like, he's more expensive than Kante and De Bruyne. That's unreal. That's unreal. People can't afford this. You're never going to have a chance to play with this card. This, though, guys, is going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you think about these three cards in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later for a draft. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.